Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Okay, guys, welcome to the class. This is the class number number nine. <laughs> so let me show you the class presentation for this evening. Clothes and colors, that's the topic. Clothes and colors. We're going to practice the colors and also describing the colors of clothes. And other things, obviously. Today is Tuesday, July 4th, 2023. So it's a holiday in the United States. In this class, you will learn close vocabulary, particularly clothes which you wear from work and for leisure time. In this class, you will learn the colors and how this topic is used in daily life. So guys, I will show you a picture and you will tell me what color it is. For example, what color is a banana? You will tell me, a banana is yellow. Okay, what color is a banana? A banana is yellow. That is the structure. If I ask you, what color is a tomato? You will say, a tomato is Red. Red. Okay. What color is a sunflower? What is the sunflower, teacher? <gasps> the sunflower. Pur purple? It's a flower. Okay, teacher, I'm sorry. Don't worry. It's yellow. It's a sunflower. Usa la estructura. A sunflower is yellow. What color is a leaf? It, a leaf. A leaf is green. Very good. What color is a cloud? Let's see, Emily. Emily Susana, what color is a cloud? Uh, um, white. A cloud. A cloud is white. A cloud is white. Very good. Thank you so much. Uh, Cecilia Veronica, what color is a piece of wood? What color is wood? Wood is a coffee. Wood is brown. The color cafe in English is brown. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Thank you, Steven. Okay, what about the next one? What color is a bunch of grapes? Jennifer? Purple? Purple, a bunch, a bunch of grapes are purple, it's purple. What color is this, is this now, Jorge? Jorge Ernesto? White. Yes. What color is the ocean? It's a blue. The ocean is blue. What color is a tangerine? Orange. A tangerine is orange. A Very good. A tangerine is orange. Great. So you know, you know the um the colors, the colors in English. Very good. So over here you can see the colors. I don't know if you can see very well, but I, I hope so. 
We have white, light gray, gray, dark gray, beige, light brown, brown, dark brown, and black. And we have others like red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, green, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue, and purple. Can you tell me? What are your favorite colors? You can say, my favorite colors are red and purple. That is the example. So what are your favorite colors? Yes, Julio? Julio Sasa? Una consulta, teacher. Uh, ¿Es correcto decir blue sky? Sky blue. Ajá, o sky blue. Ok. <laughs> so, what, is that your favorite color? Is that your favorite color, Julio? Sky blue. Ah, la consulta es porque en, he escuchado en otras ocasiones que dicen sky blue, entonces ahorita veo que está light blue, blue y dark blue, entonces se me venía esa a la mente, nada más. Ok, yeah, you can say sky blue, you can also say navy blue. Mm -hmm. it's, another, ah. it's another ton, right? It's another ton of blue. Okay, okay people. Thank you. Thank you, Julio. Participate. What are your favorite colors? You can say, my favorite colors are. Okay, teacher. My favorite color is green. Thank you, Julio. Cecilia, Veronica? Uh, my favorite color is blue. Carla? My favorite color is purple. Great. Uh, let's see, somebody else. Jacqueline? My favorite color are? It's orange. Black oh. and pink. Okay, my, so it's, you will use the plural form. My favorite colors are, right? Very good. Orange, blue, pink. Gabriela? Uh, green and pink. Okay, we go here pink. Let's see. Somebody else, Julio Chavarria. Okay, teacher. Uh, my favorite color are blue. Okay, if you may, if you mention only one color. You use it. My favorite color is blue. If you okay. mention two or more, you use blue R. Uh -huh. Can you repeat, Julio? My favorite color. Uh, my favorite color are blue, yellow. Blue, blue and, yellow. and yellow. Nice. Jennifer Perez. My favorite colors are green and black. Green and black. Nice, thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> okay, thank you for your participation. So this is the structure to make sentences with the colors. We use the subject plus the verb to be plus the color. So the verb to be will depend on the subject. Uh, if it's going to be is, singular, or are in plural. Look at these examples. My eyes are black because I have one and two, two eyes. My eyes are black. Your hair is dark red. Your hair is dark red, okay? Their car is light gray. Their car is like gray. Her dress is white. The wall is dark green. 
So you have to pay attention to the subject, right? To say is or are. For example, what colors are apples? Apples is or are? The apple is. And apple is red. But if I want to say three apples, the apples are, are red. Okay. Well, now, guys, good. please let's write five sentences. Write five sentences describing the colors of things. For example, you can say, my house is green. My cell phone is black. <laughs> my backpack is blue. My dogs are black and brown. And I don't know. My shoes are red. So let's write examples. We describing the colors of different things. And while you do it, I will take the attendance. En lo que ustedes hacen las oraciones, I will take the attendance. Las pueden escribir en el chat or in your notebook and send the picture. Okay, in a moment. I will take the pen. I'm just looking for the list. Chicos, recuerden que su asistencia es muy importante a cada clase y cada minuto que ustedes se conectan. Aquí viendo la lista, tengo varios en color rojo de inasistencia. Les va a afectar. Tienen que ponerse la pila, las pilas estos días, estas clases que vienen, que faltan para reponer esos minutos y llegar al 80%. Ya deberían llevar más del 40%. Ya le voy a decir cómo van. Por ejemplo, eh, vamos a ver. Los que van, voy a mencionar los que ya llevan más del 40, que ya deberían ser más del 40, ¿verdad? Alvin, Ana Marisela, Ana Silvia, Angie, Cecilia. Eh, Denise, Rosalía, Edward Steven, Emily, Fernando, Francisco, Glenda, Jennifer Ivonne, eh, Julio César, Julio Ernesto, Carla Elizabeth. Llevan más del 40% de asistencia. Feliz. Congratulations. Very good. Continue la like edad. Los demás sí tienen que ponerse más las pilas en no faltar ya ninguna clase y conectarse a tiempo. Algunos, por ejemplo, todavía no han llegado a casa, pero se conectan en el camino y esa, aunque no puedan participar, pero al menos van conectados y van escuchando. Bien. Ok. Creo que Aleida, Aleida Marilín no está. Alvin de Jesús Cuchilla. Present. Ana Marisela Vázquez. Present. Okay. Ana Silvia Joachín. Angie Ivette Romero. Present. Cecilia Verónica Hernández. Present. Christopher Gochez. Christopher Goche. Te dije que no fueras a votar eso. Sí. Claudia Elizabeth. Claudia Elizabeth Clímaco. 
Dania Larisa Romero. David Ernesto Tolosa. Denise Rosalía Hernández. Denise Rosalía. Edward Steven. Present. Thank you, Edward. Emily Azucena Ramos. Present. Emmanuel Eliseo de León. Fernando Enrique López. Francisco Javier Cortés. Present. Thank you, Francisco. Gabriela Maria Reyes. Present. Um, okay. Glenda Karina Baños. Glenda Present. Karina. Hazel Beatriz Abarca. Present. Present. Jacqueline Janet Guzman. Present. Jacqueline, uh, sorry, Jennifer Ivonne. Present. Jorge Arquívides Beltrán. Present. Jorge Ernesto Martínez. Present. José Adalberto López. Jocelyn Esmeralda Rosales. Julio César Reyes. Present teacher. Julio Ernesto Echeverría. Present uh, teacher. Okay, Carla Navarro. Uh, Present. Carla Rosa. Carla Lucía. Okay, thank you so much. Now we are going to read your examples. Let's see. Wow, we have a lot of examples. <laughs> okay, Francisco Cortez. Just let me check Francisco's, okay. Attendance. Karina, can you read your examples? Karina, can you read your example? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. um, my dog is brown. My car is green. Your car is red. My car is blue. Uh, my house is blue. My cat are black. My cats, cats are black. Okay. Very good. Jorge my, oh, Sorry. Continue. Okay. <laughs> es que estoy leyendo todas. Pero yes, solo it's esos. okay. Okay. Good. Jorge, can you read your example? Jorge Ernesto. My car is green. My hair is black. Your, your hair is black. Um, my eyes are black. My eyes. My eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am looking here that you say, for example, many have written, my car is blue, my car is black, my car is green. Okay, if you say my cars, you have two or more cars. It's in plural, carros. Mi carros es verde. One. Ah, it's only one, entonces quitamos la S. It's only, my car is white. 
My car is white. My car is blue. My car, okay. only one. Okay, be careful with the plural forms. Let's see, my room is white, your shoes are black, my pen is red. Uh, their card is white, her dress is red. My book is yellow. Okay, Jennifer, como en, en español decimos mis ojos son de color café, pero en inglés solo decimos my eyes are brown. My eyes are brown. My kitten has several colors, colors, brown, white, black, and gray. Wow, that's an interesting cat. My shorts are black. Eh, okay, Karina, los colores en inglés no van en plurales porque son adjetivos. Todos los adjetivos en inglés son singulares. No se le pone la S como en español. En inglés no, no, son, no son plurales. Sería, my shoes are pink. My shorts okay. are black. Uh -huh. Solo le quitamos la S. Okay, very good. Now, guys, let's pass to the next activity. The next activity. Oh, thank you, Julio, for sending the your examples. We are going to learn now. Julio, do you have a comment? You want? Do you have a participation? Julio Cheverria. We have been there. Just a check. Um, my dog is brown. Brown. My my house is brown. In my cat, my cats are brown. Uh, in brown. <laughs> in the in the pen. My pen is red. The dog, my my car is blue. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Julio, for your participation. Okay, guys. Now here you're going to learn vocabulary about clothes. So over here you can see different pieces of clothes. Please repeat after me. Cap. 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 Sunglasses. 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 No. No. Skirt. Uh, Belt. 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 Hat. 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 Shoes. Hat. Shoes. Hair. Hair. Okay, dress. 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 Yes. Shorts. 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 Trousers. 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 Socks. 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 Yes. T-shirt. T-shirt. Boots. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, what color is the skirt? Shirt. Boot. Pink. Pink. Yes. Pink. What color are the shorts? Pero díganmelo, díganmelo en oración completa. They are green. Uh -huh. What color is the dress? The dress is red. Excellent. What color is the scarf? The scarf is yellow. What color are the jeans? The, the jeans, jeans is blue. Blue. jeans are blue. 
What color is the t-shirt? T-shirt is red. Red. R. Is red. The t-shirt is red. The t-shirt is red. What color are the shoes? The shoes are red. The shoes are red. Very good. What color is the belt? The belt the is, is brown. brown. It's brown. And the hat? Brown. It's brown. And the boots? It's what brown. Color, what color are the boots? Boots is brown. The boots are? Are brown. Yes. Okay. Good. In the next slide, we can see more pieces of clothes. For example, tie, jacket, dress, suit. This is suit. That's the pronunciation, suit. Blouse, t-shirt, jeans, sweater, shirt, coat, scarf, sweet shirt, shoes, pants or trousers, winter hat, Meetings, gloves, shorts, trainers, boots, hats. Ah, good question. Si la camisa lleva dos colores, ¿por qué se dice que es una prenda? Es una prenda con dos colores. You can say the t-shirt is yellow and black. The t-shirt is blue and white. The t-shirt is black and white. Pero es una prenda. Okay, Jennifer, thank you for your question. The same with the shoes. The shoes are red and white. Tell me, guys, what do you wear at work? What do you wear at work? And you say, I work, I wear a uniform. The uniform consists or the uniform is a blue skirt and a blue jacket. Do you wear a uniform at work? Usa en inglés para usar ropa, usamos el verbo wear. Este que te wear. Wear, I wear. Por ejemplo, si yo les pregunto ahorita, what are you wearing today? Lo puedo escribir aquí en el chat. What are you wearing today? ¿Qué estás usando? ¿Qué llevas puesto ahorita? You say, I am wearing a black flower blouse, blue jeans, and, and sandals. And you? Can you tell me what you are wearing today? What are you wearing today? I am wearing, tell me the colors and the pieces of clothes. What are you wearing today? It's in the chat. The example is in the chat. I am wearing, what are you wearing today? Okay. Carla, okay, solo le faltó el verbo to be, Carla. I am wearing a blue blouse and black jeans. Okay. Sometimes for the class, I wear, I wear flip-flops. Flip-flops, flip-flops son ginas in Spanish, ginas. But today I am wearing sandals. Okay, what are you wearing today? Hazel Beatriz, what are you wearing today? You need to turn on your microphone. Because we don't listen to you, Hazel Beatriz.
but we don't listen. Lo escuchamos, hace le encienda su micrófono. Ah, eh, ok. Um, I am wearing black jeans and sandal pink. En pink sandals. Decimos el color antes. Pink ah, okay. sandals. Ajá, uh -huh, ok, very ah, good. Ah, Thank okay. you, Hazel. Erne Julio Ernesto? You are raising your hand, Julio. What are you wearing today? Uh, I teacher, uh, I wear and I am wearing. I am wearing in short uh, yellow and and teacher in the ring. Okay, okay, Julio, dígale otra vez, pero recuerde, los colores van antes de la ropa. De sería, I am wearing yellow shorts and a green t-shirt. Okay, teacher. Um, I, I am wearing um, yellow yellow, yellow and short and green and t-shirt. Very good, Julio. Okay, Jorge? I am wearing a blue shirt, shirt blue jean. Um, uh -huh. Light gray shoes. And shoes. Well, okay. Thank you, Jorge. Francisco Javier. Uh, uh, I am wearing. Uh, I am wearing black shorts. Uh, and the shirt black, white. Pardon. And white sweater. Uh, the shirt black. White. White shirt. Okay, Cecilia? Uh, I am wearing white slipper pantuflas. Slippers. Why slipper? <laughs> uh, and blue shirt. And blue shorts. And blouse? Are you wearing a blouse or a shirt? <laughs> okay, Cecilia, maybe you're having problems with the audio. Ana Silvia? I'm wearing t shirt and shorts. Uh, what color? What color are your shorts? Okay. What color? What, what color? Yes, what color are your shorts? Um, blue. Okay. And your and your t-shirt, what color is your t-shirt? Black. Black t-shirt. Okay. I'm going to read your messages. Mm, for example, um Maricela, I am wearing a dress. Ana Silvia, I wear a t-shirt and shorts. Emily, I am wearing a white blouse and purple shorts. Jennifer, I'm wearing a black polo shirt and blue jeans. Excellent. Cecilia, I am wearing, no se les olvide poner el ING al verbo, porque es lo que está pasando en el momento, lo que están usando ahorita. I am wearing slippers. I'm wearing a blue shirt, blue jeans, and light gray shoes. Los shoes irían al final. Karina, I'm wearing a black blouse, pink jeans and sandals. I'm wearing a pink t-shirt and pink shorts. Sería Jacqueline. I am wearing a black, I'm wearing black shorts and a white t-shirt. Recuerden, el color antes de la ropa. Hazel, I'm wearing black jeans and pink sandals. Excellent. I'm wearing a green shirt and blue shorts. I'm wearing light blue dress and orange sandals. I'm wearing white slippers and blue shorts. Sería Cecilia, I am wearing green shorts and gray t-shirt. I'm wearing a black dress. I am wearing a gray, a gray dress. Okay, thank you so much for your examples. Very good. Okay, now let, we have a conversation here that is, it's a disaster. 
I need two volunteers to read the conversation. Solo que tienen que ser buenos actores, que le pongan salsa a la conversación. <laughs> ok, Hazel. And Hazel needs en Julio Echeverría. Ok. Empezamos con Hazel. Um, ok. Uh, great or clothes are dry. Where is my new house? Inter. Julio Julio is frozen <laughs> Ok, Jul que le ayude Edward Steven porque creo que Julio se le fue la señal eh, y... De nuevo, entonces. Please. Please. Okay. Uh, great or clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? Blouse. Blouse, okay. What is my new blouse? What is my new blouse? Steven? <laughs> ah, le ayudo. Okay. What color is? What color is, is it? Is? is it? What color is it? It's white. Here a light blue blouse is a new. Is it yours? Is it yours? No, it's not mine. No, it's not my. Wait, it is my. It's a disaster. Disaster! It's a disaster. It's it's a disaster. Oh no! Are you her clothes are black blue? Here's the problems. Is the new blue jeans? What is Jinx are they? Are they? The, are they? My sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Hazel and Steven. So, okay. so they went to the laundry, okay. but uh, Julie put her new jeans, and the new jeans stain all the other clothes, right? <laughs> has that happened to you? ¿Ya les ha pasado ese? Has, eso? has that happened to you? <laughs> Sometimes with the new clothes, right? Red or blue or purple, etc. Okay. So, <clears throat> very good. We to ask about the colors of things, we can say what color is it? That is the, the question. What color is it? But if it's singular, in singular, what color is it? In plural, como sería la pregunta? What That's color it. are? What, what color is? No. Uh, are they? What color are they? Exactly. What color are they? For example, what color are your shoes? What color are your eyes? What color are your jeans? What color are your socks? Calcetines, socks. Mm -hmm. What color are your books? Okay. What color are they? But for something that is singular, what color? What color is it? What color is your car? 
What color is your house? What color is, is your cell phone? What color is your t-shirt? Etc. Okay, you have to be careful with singular or plural. Is that, is that clear? Please say yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> hey, Fernando, you appeared. <laughs> okay, so, eh, bueno, ya hicimos este ejemplo. What are you wearing today? Okay. Now, guys, eh, we have here possessive pronoun. What are the possessive? Well, we have learned about possessive adjectives. For example, my, your. These are my socks, these are your socks, these are his socks, these are her socks, these are our socks, these are their socks. But uh, we can also use pronouns. <clears throat> um, they are like this, possessive pronouns. Sería así. These socks are mine, these socks are yours, these socks are your, are his, these socks are hers, these socks are ours, and these socks are theirs. Si se fijan, le agregamos a la mayoría una S, y solo el mine cambia. ¿Qué significa esto? Estos calcetines son míos. Estos calcetines son tuyos. Son de él, son de ella, son nuestros o son de ellos. Esos son los possessive pronouns, right? Mine, yours, his, hers, ours, and theirs, okay? Now, we can also use possessives in using the apostrophe. To use the apostrophe, we put the apostrophe S to the name. Se lo ponemos al nombre o al dueño. For example, This is the teacher's book. Miren, si se fijan en el ejemplo, este es el libro de la teacher o de la maestra. Pero se escribe como al revés, ¿verdad? Este es el libro de la maestra. This is the teacher's book. Voy a poner primero teacher, apóstrofe es, y luego el objeto que, que es de ella, teacher's book. Another example, that is Mario's, example, that is Mario's car. ¿Qué quiere decir esa oración? El carro de Mario. El carro es de este Mario. es el carro de Mario, exactly. If I say... Okay, I don't like Maria's food. A Maria no le gusta la comida. No me gusta la comida de Maria. Ajá, no me gusta la comida de Maria. Ajá, okay. Another example. Okay, this is Jose's dog. Ese es el perro de Jose. Okay, yes, this is Jose's dog. Very good. So, as you notice, X. I, sí, Emmanuel. I have a question mm -hmm. about that. Mm -hmm. um, is it necessary to use the letter S? and the contraction when we use numbers uh, sorry when we use a name mm, okay good question or, yes or, okay mm -hmm. for example only in the, that occasion for irregular plurals for irregular plurals 
for example, children. Those are the children. Children is the plural de child. Children significa niños. No lleva S. Entonces se la voy a poner para hacerlo posesivo. Those are the children's toys. Otro ejemplo. Women. Women es mujeres. No lleva S, pero se la voy a poner apóstrofe S para hacerlo. Para hacerlo posesivo. Women's Day is in March. El día de, la mujer, de las mujeres <ríe> es en marzo. Women's Day is in March. Or Woman's Day is in March. Pero si un posesivo ya, ya lleva la S, solo le voy a poner el apóstrofe. Por ejemplo, vamos a ver. Eh, the students... Que solo le voy a poner aquí. The students' computers are old. Ok. Es ya un example. The students' computers are old. ¿Qué quiere decir esta oración? Que las computadoras de los estudiantes están viejas. <laughs> yes, it's just an example. Ok. <laughs> Very good. So, I don't know if you have questions. More another question about this topic. But um, the structure or the formula, I will write it over here. The structure will be like this. Seria mm. the noun. Noun plus apostrophe. S plus the object, the object of possession. Hmm? Can you write some examples? Can you make some examples in the chat? En, en mientras lo hacen, solo quiero verificar los que se acaban de conectar a la clase. Si me dicen sus nombres, please. Can you tell me your names, please? Fernando Enrique López Alvarado. Ok, Fernando López. Creo que Manuel también, right? Emmanuel too. Emmanuel. Eliseo. Emmanuel, where are you? Ah, oh, Manuel Siguenza. Okay. Who else? A ver, Christopher Goches is here? No. Alguien más que se acaba de conectar o se conectó después de que pasara la lista? Bueno. Ana Silvia, ya, ya le puse su asistencia. Ok, gracias. Pues voy a mencionar las ausencias. Absent people, Aleida, Christopher Goches, Claudia Clímaco, Daniel Ariza, and David Tolosa, José López, José Adalberto López, Jocelyn Esmeralda, and Carla Lucía. Okay, let's check your examples, guys. It says, for example, this, that's. Okay, Fernando, si usa el that's, ya no tiene que usar el is, porque es la contracción de that is. That's my brother's pet, okay? Hazel Beatriz sería Maruchan's soup. Maruchan's soup. Okay, I don't like okay. Maruchan's soup. These are the okay. teacher's sunglasses, yes. Very good, Karina. Let's make more examples, please.
Okay, we are going to check the examples. That is, this is Mateo's balloon. This is the sister's pencil. I love Javier's kisses, okay? Teacher's day is in June, very good. This is the father's class. My grandmother's house is big, excellent. Very good, I don't like that again. Okay, in the example, you have to use the possessives. The possessives, remember, possessive pronouns. That is Julio's motorcycle, okay. Very good. You can look at your classmates and you can write sentences about your classmates. For example, you can say, Fernando's t-shirt is red. Julio's t-shirt is light blue. Uh, Karina's hair is long. Julio's shirt is gray. The teacher's blouse is black. Okay, the glasses are from Vincent's. That is my brother's dog, Ernesto's, Ernesto's hair is curly. <laughs> okay, very good. I have another question. Okay, what is your question, Emmanuel? Uh, in this topic, in, uh, I, I have, I think it's hard for me because, um, uh, for example, if we want to say uh, that something has uh, another thing, for example, in Spanish, uh, we can say uh, la ventana del carro, but in, in English, I don't know. Uh, how can we okay. say that? The windows car. No, eso sería el carro de la ventana. <laughs> the car's window. Or the car's windows. Eso, 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 eso. Desde, se le van a poner el apóstrofe y la S a la, a, a, la, a quien lo posee. A quien o qué lo posee. Ok. No matter if we are talking about people or things. Or things. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if we're talking about people or things, but the owner, el dueño, the owner has the position. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. In that case, the car's windows, the car's wheels, mm -hmm, the house uh, floor, the house's floor, the house's garden, etc. Okay, we have another example. These earphones are mine. Okay, Francisco Javier, in this case, usted está usando el possessive pronoun mine. En este caso, no usa el apóstrofe y la S, porque está usando el possessive pronoun. The possessive pronoun. Sería, these earphones are mine, pero sin apostrophe, without apostrophe. Entonces, para indicar el possessivo, puede usar el possessive pronoun. Or you can use the, post, the apostrophe, okay? We have the examples here. Pat's blouse, Julie's jeans, Rex's t-shirt. And to ask questions, para preguntar de quién es, we use whose. Whose blouse is this? It's Pat. Whose jeans are these? They are Julie's. Entonces, what is the structure for whose? Whose plus the object, the verb to be, and this or this. But tomorrow we are going to continue practicing with whose. I think today we are going to stop here because it's, it's too much information for today. Right? It's a lot of information. So we're gonna have only the possessive pronouns and the apostrophes. In another class, we are going to practice with who's. Right now, we're gonna go over. Oh, we, we, you can, we can have more examples here. A possessive pronoun is a pronoun that is used to indicate possession or ownership. 
This pen is my pen, not your pen. Here we use the adjective. The adjective is before the noun. This pen is mine, not yours. In this case, mine is a pronoun. This pen is mine, not yours. We are using pronouns. Este, lapis, este lapicero es mío, no tuyo. This is my laptop. It's mine. So the possessive pronoun for I is mine, for you, yours, for he, his, for she, hers, for it, its, and for they, theirs. I want the blue shirt back. It's mine. Okay? More examples. That is my apple. The apple is mine. These are your flowers. The flowers are yours. Jacques is his dog. The dog is his. That box is her present. The present is hers. The cat is sitting on its tree house. This is our house. Well, the, we have a note here. It's not common as a possessive pronoun, but it's used here. This is our house. The house is ours. That is their house. The house is theirs. There. And here we have a last exercise to finish the class. I have a sister. What is the correct possessive here? Her. Very good. I have a sister, her name is Anya. This is Jack's book. The book is? Mine. This is Jack's book. The book is? It's his. His, his because it's Jack, Jack. His. I have a sister. Julio, no se le comprende bien el audio. Quise tener, no sé, la conexión. Okay, I have a sister. This jacket is? Hair. Hairs. Hair. Hairs. Okay. My parents have a dog. You. It's. It's, exactly. Its name is Spider-Man. Su nombre es Spider-Man. Its name is Spider-Man. This is? My. my book. Yes, this is my book. Don't touch it. <laughs> we like our house. It's ours. Ours. They have a blue car. The car is blue. They theirs. Okay, I like. They, they, they. Their show. Mm -hmm. They did a good job. Is this? Our. Is this our new house? We bought it last week. Don't touch this book. It's mine. 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 Nice. Great job. You did a good. Yeah, excellent. Okay, guys, so you can use, I can see that you can, you can use the possessive pronouns correctly. Okay, guys, what did you learn in this class? ¿Qué aprendimos en esta clase? What did you learn in this class? I learned the possessive pronouns. The possessive pronouns. Very good, Fernando. Colors. And the, the colors, we learn how to say the colors. What else? Clothes. The, the clothes, yes. Clothes. We also learn about the clothes. How to also describe the color of the clothes. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so I hope you like the class and that you learned something important this evening. And well, Calas, remember we have class tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday. We are going to have class. Tendremos clase mañana, okay? So see you tomorrow. And have see a great tomorrow. night. See you tomorrow. And no se olviden de trabajar en la plataforma. Para que no se atrasen mucho. Okay, teacher. Yes, Fernando. Eh, yo ya terminé las actividades cinco eh, y ya no me deja continuar con el módulo. No sé si hay otro módulo. No, solo son cinco secciones. Sí, sí, pero ahorita en este módulo uno, cinco secciones, five sections. Si ya terminó las cinco oh. secciones, el examen final, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, people, good night. Teacher, una pregunta. Sí, Jorge. Hola. What is your question, Jorge? Estaba mencionando los que llevaban 40%, creo, de las asistencias, pero yo creo que he entrado solo a una, no entré. Por eso quería saber cuánto tenía. Ah, Jorge Ernesto. Yeah. Jorge Ernesto Martínez. Lo que sucede es que a veces si se conectan tarde, solo se conectan media hora o 20 minutos, eso les va restando. Tiene 38, 38%. Todavía está ahí en el, en el casi el 40, pero sí, ya no debe faltar. Ok, y conectarse, conectarse desde, el, desde el principio hasta el final. Va, gracias. También la clase de mañana les va a ayudar porque lo que sucedió es que es que se perdió esa, esa clase en Zoom. Entonces la vamos a reponer y les va a ayudar con la asistencia. Es your opportunity. Ana Silvia. Teacher, una pregunta. Así como el día de ayer que a mí me sacaba la plataforma, eh, yo parezco que me conecté, pero por, por momentos, porque me, me sacaba. El internet estaba malo acá. Para ya le digo cuántos minutos se le colocaron ayer. Se le colocaron 42 minutos. Eso, eso le registró su 42 minutos. Y sí, es que sí. tuve problemas con el internet. Uh -huh. Sí, yo entiendo que a veces, de hecho hasta me ha pasado, ¿verdad? Que ya, se, ya me he desaparecido <ríe> de la clase porque se va el inter. Pero sí traten de de estar listos con datos o una, un plan B. Okay, Jennifer. Gracias. Jennifer. Hola, mire que es que yo he avanzado en la plataforma, pero ahora me mandaron un mensaje que sale que yo no he avanzado mucho y yo he estado haciendo los ejercicios, <risa> pero no sé si es porque lo he hecho desde mi celular. Eh, Mire, fue, a veces puede que la lista no esté actualizada. Lo que puede hacer es escribir directamente a la persona que les pone el mensaje. Creo que en ustedes es, es Andy. Andy, Andy okay. ajá. Y le, diga, le puede pedir a Andy que si por favor puede chequear, le da su nombre completo y ahí le va a decir. ¿verdad? Ah, no, a, le va mí, a, a mí me pasó eso, teacher, ahora. Y yo le tomé captura de pantalla y se lo mandé al profe Andy para que viera de que sí, que yo ya iba adelantada. Ok, está bien. Jacqueline. Disculpe, ¿qué porcentaje de asistencia llevo yo? Mm, a ver, Jacqueline, Janet. Ya le digo, Jacqueline. Tiene 39. Así que está en el límite también. Jacqueline, 39%. Gracias. Vaya, y creo que solamente eso. No more questions. <laughs> Good night. No more, teacher. Goodbye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night, Fernando's dog. <laughs> His, its name is Peligro. Ah, okay. Dangerous. <laughs> <laughs>